welcome to You So You. I'm Zoe and this is my um, films about knitting, sewing, crafting, anything that I can really put my crafty hands to. Um, today I just wanted to catch up with you quickly about my crafting trousers which I finished yesterday and they're the uh, Pantalon Citron. Uh, crafting if you aren't aware is a subscription service it comes out once every two months um, and I have bought my first box from them it came about a month ago, it's taken me a little while to get it done. If you've been following my videos you'll know that my sewing machine's been playing up lately and I've been starting to learn how to fix it. So hopefully um, I'll be able to go over those few bumps. Now the trousers themselves, they should have been a really quick and easy sew. However, I did have a bit of a battle with them. Um, I broke two needles uh, yesterday and I don't normally break needles my thread kept snapping and uh, the fabrics were slipping around language was used and um, part of it would be the machine and part of it would be so error I don't think it's really the pattern and the fabric and uh, I just don't often do stretch fabrics mixed with slippy satins and um, so I think that's where the slipping hit problem came from um, and yeah my machine is just generally playing up because it's 12 years old hey um, the trousers themselves are made out of a viscose twill in a grey mull and have a contrast stripe. They're that kind of sporty, chic, mash-up style. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see them, um, hopefully the colours will come out when I stand up in a second. Um, it's a horrible grey, wet and rainy day, hence all the artificial lights going on at the moment. Um, but hopefully the colours will come through and I will of course insert a full length picture around about now-ish so that you can see them. So the trousers are cropped. Um, I have crop slightly further than the pattern recommends just because I'm five foot four and when I tried the trousers on before I hemmed them the uh, finished edge of the hem hit right on my ankle which meant when I turned it up the amount that the pattern recommended I just looked like I was wearing trousers that were a little bit too short um, and I wanted it to be clear that they were meant to be cropped so I've turned them up a little bit further I mean only a couple of centimeters uh, just to get that difference between the, the too short and the purposefully cropped. Um, their stripe is fine, I like it. I mean, I haven't sewed it in brilliantly. I've got a couple of um, crinkles and pleats where there shouldn't be, but on the whole, it's it's fine. If, you don't look, no, no, if you're not a sewer and you don't look too close to it, you're not gonna notice. Um, I had some issues sewing on the waistband. It's an elasticated band. Um, so you put on the the waistband itself, front, the outside and the inside, then you put the loop of elastic that you've already sewn together in and sew down the, the side of the side seams. That bit was fine. Where I had trouble was folding over the inside waistband and then sewing that down. I found that when I sewed it down to avoid the elastic, um, I had to sew pretty close to the seam and in some cases a little bit below it just because the fabric moved on the machine a little bit so I've got some visible stitching but the thread's quite a good match so again if you're not a sewist you're not going to know and the tie belt at the front covers most of the dodgy stitching so that's fine um, but because the front of the elastic is straight and the back of the elastic is gathered it was a bit of a pain to get the band to sit flat and stitch it in and then I couldn't go and finish off the the seam edge because my overcasting foot on my sewing machine just couldn't fit in the seam allowance to finish off that edge. So I kind of wish I'd finished off the edge of that before I'd attached it. I'm going to have to go on and go in later and sew in a bit of ribbon or something. Once I've made the top with the purple satin, I'll see if I've got any left, see if I can do a contrast band inside with that. Um, but overall, they're really comfy trousers. Uh, there are a couple of adjustments that I would make if I were to make them again. Uh, if I just stand up for a moment. Um, so at the front, underneath this tie, they've got some pleats, which I am undecided on because I've got a little bit of a pooch. Um, I'm not convinced that they're the most flattering. 
So I might try them without the pleats in, have more of a flat fronted trouser, or I might sew the pleats down because they're quite a soft pleat. They're stitched at the top, uh, but they're not pressed. Um, so I don't know if they were stitched down a little bit further, maybe they'd be more flattering, or if they weren't there at all. I don't know. I'll have a bit of a play. The pockets are a nice position, but if you do them as per the pattern, they're really short. The nice length that down the leg, but in terms of actually putting the hand in across the belly, I would prefer my pocket bags to come to about here. They come to there. So if I was going to make again, I would just use bigger pocket bags. Uh, I don't understand this whole idea of put, going to the time of putting in pockets and them not being particularly sizable. Uh, so yeah, they've got this contrast stripe down the side, and I will probably have to put a photo in for it to show you the hemline. There we go. It's a folded up hem, hem and you stitch down in the seam lines to keep it in place. Um, so yeah, overall, really, really comfortable. I will say, however, I am a size 16 in ready, -wear, ready to wear trousers most of the time in the UK. Um, which means in the French patterns I'm usually the largest size for crafty and that means it's a size 20 um, which is fine I mean I'm not overly precious about what's, what number it is on my clothes but because they send you the fabric to make the project I'm five foot four and I only just had enough fabric to cut out all the pieces for the trousers if I needed to lengthen the trousers, which for me would be unusual, I'm far more likely to need to shorten trousers. But if I was taller, uh, say five foot six or five foot seven or something, or even maybe five foot five, I would have really struggled to get the pattern pieces out of the fabric that I had and still have a decent length of trouser. Uh, so that's worth bearing in mind if you are taller than me and in a similar dress size. And I suspect with these smaller dress sizes, there'd be a little bit more wiggle room so if you are a slimmer build, um, but still slightly taller, you might be all right. I don't know. Um, so I mean, that's a little bit of a shame. A couple of more inches of fabric would have made all the difference for those slightly taller people. Um, but they're really comfortable. They are functional trousers. They do the job. I'm going to be able to dress them up with a nice pair of shoes or boots or something and a shirt. Um, and I'm going to be able to dress them down with a t-shirt and trainers. They've got that multi-look style to them so I mean overall I'm really pleased uh, but I think if you're paying for a kit you want to be able to know that you can get at least one of the items out of the materials that are sent um, so for somebody taller than me who's also a size 16 UK sizes you want to bear that in mind if you're going to be paying out about £30 a month every couple of months for a subscription box um, I do want to try the, the wraparound jacket at some point but there's only enough fabric for, for the trousers, not the trousers on the top. Um, and as I say, I'm going to make something out of the purple satin in a top type garment. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm quite happy um, because I can wear them to work and I can wear them on the train up to my dad's on Friday and actually be quite comfortable. Um, and that's what you want in a pair of trousers, isn't it, really? Comfort and function, and that they do that. Um, and yeah, it should have been a really quick, easy sew. The instructions are clear. They're not complicated construction. Um, I just have an issue with my machine. Um, so yeah, thumbs up overall for the crafting with a couple of provisos if you happen to be taller than the average. Um, so that's what I have to say for today. Um, I may or may not be back with a video next week. Depends if I have time to film. Um, during the week as we are going up to Grantham on Friday and won't be back till the Wednesday so I might not have a chance to do any filming um, whilst I'm away um, and uploading anything for you but we'll see um, otherwise it'll be a couple of weeks time um, and I will have at least a photo of that elephant it is cast on the body is done I need to get it finished by Friday um, and I will see you soon so like and subscribe Hop on over to www.usodoyou.com for the written blog and I will see you next time. Bye bye.